بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر جاوید اقبال کھوکھر پروفیسر آف فرینزک میڈیسن اینڈ ٹاکسیکالوجی آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ ود دی نیکسٹ ٹاپک پرسنل آئیڈینٹی اینڈ دس از دا فرسٹ لیکچر آف دس سیریز اینڈ آئی ول ڈسکس دی پرسنل آئیڈینٹی ان ڈیٹیل بائی ڈیفینیشن پرسنل آئیڈینٹی از دی اسٹیبلشمنٹ آف انڈیویجولیٹی آف اے پرسن لیونگ اور ڈیڈ اینڈ اٹ از کالڈ personal identity it by word meaning item which is a latin word which means same and identity then uh, tells us individuality and the sum of total characteristics so identity is individuality which is the sum of total characteristics which are present in that individual then the identification is the process of establishing identity identification of a person living or dead means the recognition of that person which is based upon certain physical characteristics which are unique to that individual determination of personal identity of accused or victim whether living or dead had always been the duty of law enforcement agencies and police it is necessary in all medical legal cases as an individual he or she is a unit of innumerable characteristics and these characteristics are inherent into it making him unique from others then we have to choose same or the similar characters to separate from the dissimilars so the similar characters are separated from the dissimilar in establishing the individuality and this is based upon the quetlet's rule adolf quetlet was a belgium scientist a botanist and the quetlet's rule states that no two nature made things are ever alike so this is the process by which we establish the individuality is called identification so the identification means the positive that means the identification of a person without any doubt and why the positive identification is needed especially it's important in dead it means that the identification of a person without any doubt to establish to resolve the anxiety of the next of kin of a person who is missing or presumed to be dead or to establish the estate of that person missing or presumed dead and to establish the corpus delicti which is the body or the proof of the crime and to allow the medical legal authorities to release the body for burial or disposal so the identity may be complete and partial the complete identification mean it is the absolute fixation of the individuality of that person and the partial identification means establishment of only some partial facts like race age sex stature and similar on other characters in a particular person the significance of identity is either in the civil matters or for the criminal investigation now regarding the identification in living in civil matters or civil cases it is identification of religion for insurance inheritance claims or marriage and similarly disputed sex missing persons entry into service or retirement then the 
identification of living cases in criminal cases like accident victims mixed up or illegitimate babies babies impersonation wanted criminals insane people absconding soldiers so these are various criminal cases where the living in living the identity is required then the identification in dead like the cases of travel accidents explosion fire flood or earthquake when there is mass disaster and identity is a big challenge then unknown dead bodies which are found in the river in the forest or any abandoned place then in case of mutilated bodies decomposed bodies or skeletal remains so the principle which are the guiding or the guidelines for establishment of identity they are that the approach should be systemic and examination should be complete subjective as well as objective methods should be utilized now the methods of identification that mean how we develop by various methods identification it is either by sub subjective method or objective method or the third party so these are various methods which are applied for establishment of identification now regarding the subjective method the subject is in front of us and all the parameters from head to toe will help in identification and which includes certain characteristics like these characteristics may be anatomical physiological pathological and genetical parameters like height weight congenital anomalies scar marks and regarding the anatomical parameters they may be either primary or the secondary primary means they are developed from till from birth in secondary they are acquired so the primary which are present at the time of birth like the facial features and the secondary which develop which de which are present uh, primary are present at the time of birth whereas the secondary which develop and appear with age similarly the physiological parameters like gait voice and the tone pathological parameters due to disease like eczema scar marks so these are they also become the identical marks identity marks then the genetic parameters like the blood groups inherited characters bar bodies and various other genetic parameters are helpful in identification now the objective method of identification objective method mean that any object having an association with the subject which may be uh, specific like the morphological character the fattest the tallest boy in the village or any other object which is associated with the subject like id card driving license passport clothes ornament and similar other things in decomposed dead bodies the biological material for example hair nail bones which do not putrefy and they are washed and prepared for physical inspection microscopy and radiology they are also the objective method of identification and the non biological material like the clothes other belonging the dress tailing mark and the laundry mark they are also helpful in identification now the third party method of identification this means any third person does the identification and this identification is done by relatives friends 
or the police. The standard method of identification in Pakistan with the introduction of national identity card following data was included in the ID card like the photographs, the permanent identity marks which may be a mole, which may be a scar mark and the signature or the thumb impression, date of birth, age, name with parentage and the residential address. So these are all included in the identity card. What the difficulty arises in cases in which either the identity card is not available or it cannot be produced. So the forensic medicine plays an important role in such situations. The orthodox approach which prevents the application of fresh knowledge but a coordinated approach is better and other colleagues should be involved in such investigation. So an ideal team for the establishment of identity will be a medical jurist or a forensic expert, forensic anatomist, forensic science expert, radiologist, serologist, histopathologist, bacteriologist and odontologist. Now the latest techniques which are available for identification like the fingerprinting or known as dactylography, lip printing, chilo, which is known as the chiloscopy and DNA fingerprinting which is the establishment of DNA character. Then the speech spectroscopy, voice printing, retinal blood vessel pattern, shape and size of iris and determination of blood groups fingernail striation pattern, skull suture pattern which is also one of the surest method, then the frontal air sinus pattern by x-ray in life and it can be compared by superimposition. Then the dental data compared with the previous record. Now regarding the surest methods of identification they are the DNA fingerprinting, dactylography, dental data or the pattern, the skull sutures, the frontal sinus pattern and these are the surest methods. So thank you very much. This Please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar lectures on forensic medicine.